what we're looking on this time is writing numbers in exponential notation so we're writing in exponential notation In order for us to understand exponential notation, firstly, we must understand the fact that when we see numbers written like this, for example, 3 raised to the second, we need to understand that this part, we call it the base, and this part it's the exponent, or people call it the index, or people call it the power. So we have various names that we use for this. All right, so the two is called the exponent, the index, or the power, and this part is the base. So this idea is what we call exponent notation. Now, this same figure has a meaning. What does this mean? 3 to the second power really means that 3 multiplied by itself two times. So we're looking at 3 times 3, which is the same thing as to say 3 to the second power. So in exponential notation, what we're going to do is to get some numbers and then we're going to write them in this form, a number raised to a base. What we're going to be focusing on also is that we're trying to use prime numbers, all right? So we're going to use the smallest number that is divisible into the, the larger number as much as possible. For example, let us say that we have 120 and we intend to write it in exponent form. 120, let's use it. We could divide this by two, because two is the smallest number and it's a prime that can go into the 120. So two into 120, we get 60. We get 60. Two again into 60, you get 30. Two again into 30, we get 15. Two won't work because we'll get a, a remainder. So we use the next um, prime factor, which is 3. 3 into the 15 is 5 times. And then 5 into itself is 1 time. Normally, when I reach 1, then I know that I'm at the end. All of these were multiplied to give me 120. What do I mean? 120 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Which means that this is 2 raised to the third power times 3 to the 1 and 5 to the 1. Alright? So if we should calculate this, we'll get back 120. 8 times 3, 24, 24 times 5, 120. So this is 120 written in exponent notation. And of course, we're using prime numbers. All right, let's look at another example. Let's just choose another number. Let us say we choose 76. Or say 78 then. Or let's say choose 78. I choose 78. Now, 2 into 78 is going to give us 30, 39. Alright, so the 2 into the 8 is going to give us 39 times. 2 won't be able to work again, but 3 can. So we use 3 this time. So 3, 8 to the 39 is actually 13. 3 can't work. We're going to have to use 13. It's a prime. 3 into itself, 1. We are at the end. Then this means that 78 can be written as 2 to the 1 times 3 to the 1 
times 30 to the 1. So all of that will give us back 78. Let's try the last one. Let us say we want to do, I don't know, any number. 102. All right, we're trying 102. 2 into the 102 is going to give me 5 or 1. So 2 won't be able to use anymore, right? So we're going to use 3. 3 into the 51. 3, 1, and we get 2. So we get 17. All right? So 3 into the 51, 17 times. Then 17 is a prime number, so 17 into itself one time. So we are at the end of this. Therefore, 2 to the 1 times 3 to the 1 times 17 to the 1 is equal to 102. Or we could say 6 times 17 is 102. Alright? So this is exponent form. Let's try one last one. We could try one last one. Alright, let's try, I don't know. I right, try 150, 150, 2 into the 150, so 2 into the 150 we get over 75, then 3 into the 75 is going to give us 25, and then 5 into the 25 is 5, and then 5 into itself is 1, we're at the end. So it's going to be 2 to the 1 times 3 to the 1 times 5 square or 5 to the second power. Alright, so we're looking at 3 times 2 times 5 and we get our 150 back again. Alright, so there you go. We're writing numbers in exponential notation. Thank you for watching.